<laughs> it looks like a big Samsung phone. I used the Tab S8 Ultra as a phone. <laughs> Jono, what is this? This isn't even the tablet box. I'm unboxing a, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and, it, and you gave me the box for the, the case. The case is so cool that you have to check it out. I'm having trouble controlling my emotions. So the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, I think it's kind of Samsung's attempt at making like an iPad Pro type of thing. iPads have been really great recently, in my opinion, but Android tablets have sucked for quite a while. Like when's the last time someone showed you an Android tablet and you're like, wow, I, I would want to purchase that. <laughs> Almost never. I, this is already open. Like I don't even have to open the box. It's just like loose. It's like, I wouldn't let this happen on TechLinked. It's Razzle Oh my God, it's the connection. I would let everything else happen. Wow, boy, that is a big boy. 14.6 inch screen. That's, all, that's like a MacBook size. Apple's out here trying to tell you to use an iPad as your computer. Meanwhile, Samsung is like, we just literally took the screen off of one of our laptops and made it a tablet. Ugh. Yo, what is the aspect ratio on this too? It's like, is it 60 by nine? I'm gonna clean the screen with the banana. It's not just for scale. Uh, so let's look at the exterior real quick because that's what John always wants me to do. This is kind of like a matte metallic finish on the back. We got the uh, sort of an iPad-like rounded square edge corner thing going on here. You got that, Andy? Can I show that to you? So that's interesting to see Samsung not really emulate their own phone design so much as they're emulating Apple's current iPhone and iPad design with this like square edge thing going on. Although it seems to me like maybe they're improving. Look at this thing, it's huge. Although this is the Tab S8 Ultra, right? There's the Tab S8 Plus, which is 12.4 inches, and then the Tab S8 Non Plus, Non Ultra, the lowest end, which is 11 inches. So those are kind of more normal tablet sizes, but I like, I like how big this is. On this side, we got a power button, looks like, and a volume rocker, probably a microphone, a SIM card slot, because this is a, what, SD card? Okay, we've confirmed it's a micro SD card slot and not a SIM card slot. No data on this thing, that's too bad. iPads can have data, Samsung. On the bottom or the side or whatever, I mean, it's the tablets are confusing. Uh, there's two speakers over here and I guess two speakers on the other side. There's four full speakers in this one, just like the iPad Pro. A USB-C port, which we have determined is a USB 3.2 Gen Gen 1, what they probably mean to put is USB 3.2 Gen 1 X1. That's five gigabits per second. It's not the 10 gigabits one, I'm pretty sure. Hey USB, figure out your shit. <laughs> like it wasn't, it's not irritating to me until I actually have to deal with it again. And then I forget about it. I'm like, oh yeah, USB, that's kind of dumb. And then I have to like find out how fast the USB port is. And I'm like, God damn it, this is stupid. On the bottom, we got what looks like Samsung's version of a smart connector for like accessories and stuff. And on the back, we got these antenna lines. Why do you need antenna lines like that if you don't have network connectivity? Wi-Fi 6E. Oh, the fancy Wi-Fis are here. <laughs> uh, so the Tab S8 Ultra is Wi-Fi 6E only, or Wi-Fi only. Uh-huh. Uh, but the Tab S8 Plus, which we don't have, has an option for 5G connectivity. So the top end model cannot have 5G, but if you downgrade to the mid-tier option, then you can upgrade the mid-tier option to a 5G model. Apparently. Why don't they, wait, what's the processor in this? It's a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Why don't they all have 5G by default? They should support, I mean, obviously like they have to put in the, the actual like antenna and stuff, but like, come on, you got the antennas right here. I'm upset. There's a magnetic uh, attachment for the S Pen, which is pretty cool that it like goes right on the tablet. Although I guess that's nice if you're like carrying it around the office or something and you just need to like quickly do that. But if you're putting that in your bag, that's coming off. Okay, let's turn this sucker on. But before that, a word from our sponsor, <laughs> Vezzy. Vezzy footwear is known for being lightweight, easy to pack, comfortable, and most importantly, water resistant with its Dymatex technology. 
Their everyday move lineup is made to keep up with your active lifestyle with its added support of the midsole and better breathability. It also has a pull tab to take them off and put them on with ease and it's made creature free so you can take each step in them guilt free. Trust me, you're gonna wanna wear these creatures everywhere. <laughs> So keep your feet dry and save $25 with offer code short circuit at vessi.com slash short circuit. Ooh, look at that. Is that moving? Does it have tap? Double tap to wake. For some reason, like I just expect that to be on every device, but some people are like, not every device is tapped. It's like, it should. So the most important thing with the tablet probably is like the image, right? Let's, let's go straight to that then. Let's go straight to YouTube or something. See, this is funny. This is a, like a little message saying, this app is using the full screen. The home, back, and recent buttons are hidden to minimize distractions and to prevent you from leaving the app accidentally. How do I get to, I can't do the regular multitasking menu? Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice, it's got the notch too. This oh, is the cool. tablet where they, they put in the MacBook MacBook notch. Like, Crab Rave is nice, but I should like, like what's something beautiful? Have we done something beautiful in a bit? Crab Rave looks beautiful. Damn, dude. So it's not mini OLED, like is in the like what's in the latest iPad Pro, but AMOLED still looks damn fine, especially at the resolution of 2960 by 1848. Ooh, look at the colors. The colors and the and the sharpness is like really there for me. Crab rave. That's grimy, dude. Grimy, dude. Maybe, maybe pause the. That's why, crazy. Why would you want something this big? Why, why wouldn't you? I, I came over here because I could hear it. It sounded like you were playing something on the TV. Yeah, dude. From the speakers over in the other set. These are pretty good for like a tablet speakers. Yeah, and it's so thin. So, in, in conclusion, the speakers are freaking sick for a tablet. <laughs> Holy crap, I like felt the bass on them. So they, uh, there's four of them and they were tuned by AKG. So apparently this display, 120 Hertz, HDR 10 plus. As for uh, performance, I mean like, so this is still an Android tablet. Now the, the Apple has really made a case recently for turning their iPad from a, like changing it from a mobile device into like a, a fun and work device. And the thing about Android tablets is that Google hasn't really had to do a lot to like add that functionality into Android because it was always sort of there. So it's, it's, it's interesting to now be faced with like a pro class Android tablet that's like, yeah, you can do what all Android tablets can do. But I guess like it'll come down to if their performance can keep up with it, because that is really the thing that Apple still has over Android tablets is the fact that they are running, you know, M1 processors now. How do I split screen? Boom. And then what else should I open? YouTube. That's sort of annoying to me that you're in split screen, but it doesn't actually use the whole screen. It's got these rounded corners on the bottom. Would it do that if I got rid of the navigation thing on the bottom? Maybe. That's already a, a plus over the iPad with the S Pen. You can actually use it for navigation. Like it's a, instead of only having the pen be useful, no. the Apple Pencil be useful for some things on the iPad, Jonathan. Think with a finger, you control with a finger. You sound like Jerry Seinfeld. Ah, uh, yes. Swipe gestures. Oh, you can switch between having the recents on either side. There's so, so much nice. customization in Android. I, uh, I've been using an Android phone for a day. Uh, and uh, it's amazing what I learned. You're switching to Android? For well, permanent? No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> well, I will be switching to Android to try it out, to then f understand why Apple is superior. Yeah, sure, dude. I'm the person who thinks the iPad Pro 12.9 is too big. Oh, really? Yeah. I made the opposite argument. I like that there is this option because if there are people who want to use a tablet as their like main device, then this is a great option. I mean, I like I like that there is a tablet this big. For some there's something like visceral. Gee, Jake, he's ruined Jake starts his M5. car up. He he purposely makes his car louder. Yeah. Why? You know, the M5 has a great exhaust <laughs> note out of the factory. It doesn't need to sound like that at idle. I just need to make that clear. 
Hey, what's that computer that uh, is a laptop with the screen comes off? Oh my god, how many hosts do we need? You're just Come right there. You're not searching up my question, I am. Oh, it's showing a feature. That's horrible. Have you tried the iOS version of that? No. Scribble? Yeah, is it good? No. Well, that's okay, you should, the magic keyboard is more expensive. What were we talking about before the? You had a no. You had well, you had one good point for this oh argument before what? the before you got interrupted by a ruined M5. Android can be pretty close to an operating uh, desktop operator. Oh yeah, to closer than iPad OS. You can do anything you want in Android. Well, I'm gonna find that out when I try it, when I try it out. Now that this is here, I feel like we should do a video on like, can you use? Because we did iPad. Pro, can you use an iPad Pro as a PC? We should do a video on, can you use this as a piece? Well, that is a great LTT video. All right, get out of here. No, one get last thing. Get out of here. <laughs> You're glad that this exists, that, that Samsung has made a huge get tablet. Get well, where's the tiny mini phone? I wish that there were more small Android touchscreen phones, Thank you know? You. Thank you, I'm out. On the topic of using a tablet as a desktop operating system, this thing, all like the S8, the S8 Plus, and the S8 Ultra all ha come with eight gigs of RAM and uh, 128 and 256 gig storage options. But the S8 Ultra, you can also up, up the RAM to 12 gigs and 16 gigs as well. And then there's also a five, 512 gig storage option. So like you can spec this thing out like a crazy amount, although it starts just the eight gig and 128 gig config starts at 1100, is that what you said? For the most part, I just, I want companies to keep making these so that they can exist as sort of like a demo of what the technology is capable of. I haven't really tested the performance in any like meaningful way. Although one thing I will say right away, oh no, okay. I thought that it didn't preserve your split screen instance, but it does, because iPad OS does that as well. There's an 11,200 milliamp hour battery. Do we know how long Samsung thinks that's supposed to last? Go for hours. Go for hours. I mean, it's been on for how long? It's at 80%. I didn't see what it was at at the beginning. Editor, you will know. Start scanning with the center of your finger. Oh, it's down here. This is a good position to have this in because I guess if you're like, if you are using the tablet like that, that sort of makes sense. But most people, I mean, most of the time you're gonna be using it like this, so it's right where your finger is, or your thumb is. Wait, does it know when I pick it up? Pick up my tablet, and it doesn't wake right away. I can double tap though and do that. Now I'm looking at this case because I haven't looked at it yet. This is interesting. So without the case, it's a magnetic dock, but with the case, it's got like a little rubber doohickey to keep it in place as well. This case is 50 bucks? Yeah. Still pretty steep for a for a case, but I mean, look, it's a tablet case, and it does seem like pretty good construction. Oh wait, no, sorry, the Ultra one is seventy dollars. This is seventy dollars? Yeah. Okay. So what I just said, but worse. So that's nice. Like that. It, that feels like a Surface Surface Pro level almost. Cameras. Okay. That is something that's interesting about this. This is Samsung. This is their high end tablet. So I got big expectations. They don't even have it right on the front thing. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I just I'm unfamiliar with the Samsung icons. Okay, wow. Yo, uh, the preview here looks pretty rough. I mean, the yeah, like the color and the sharpness is not quite there. Double tap power button and we get a camera shortcut, so that's nice. Jeez, Louise, look at <laughs> look at how big that screen is. I mean, like I feel like I'm shooting a movie or something. <laughs> um, okay, so we got the ultra wide as well, though. Wow. Yeah, that that doesn't look great, Jono. I mean, it's only a 12 megapixel, but like, I feel like that's worse even than normal smartphone cameras these days. I, I'm not surprised that they, you know, were trying to save a little bit of money still on tab like as like tablets. Not many people are buying them. You don't feel the need to like put like the best camera on there, but still like this is an $1,100 tablet. Yeah. So there's the normal length and we got, oh, we got two cameras here that I did not mention as well. Correction, correction. These are both 12 megapixels. Yeah. On the back, we got a 13 megapixel and a six megapixel ultra wide. So that's why when the, I took the ultra wide shot right there, it was particularly bad because that's only a six megapixel camera. Yeah, this is more like what I would expect from a you know modern smartphone camera. It's still a little bit fuzzier than I have seen on some other cameras, but it's 
a little, uh, you know, that's more along the lines of what I would expect. So conclusion time. I think I'm just happy to see that Android tablets are back in the market with like good quality units. And I'm not saying you should go out and buy these. I think it just makes me happy because like iPads have dominated. Anytime people have talked about tablets, you know, you're talking about iPads, unless you're like my father-in-law who <laughs> refuses to buy new technology and will only shop on eBay or Craigslist for like used stuff. And he's like, I bought this new tablet for $20. I'm like, but maybe that's all you need. And so that's fair. But for people who are looking for a little bit more out of their Android uh, tablets, this is nice to see. Your father-in-law has three iPads? Yeah, so then there's other types of people who just like buy a ton of iPads because they think that that's the only tablet you can get. More Android tablets are good in my book, even if this one is probably overpriced. Although I don't even know, it's $1,100. That's what the flagship phones are these days. And this is a, like a 15 inch thing. It's probably not overpriced for what it is, honestly. Yeah, it just, for $1,100, all I really want is the option to have five. That's true, but then it would be more expensive. The S8 Plus is $900 and it's got the 12.4 inch screen. The S8 is $700 and it's got the 11 inch screen. So if I was to say which one of these you should pro probably buy, it would probably be the S8. Although this is not a recommendation, this is not a review, it's an unboxing. And uh, hopefully we take a deeper look at these uh, units in other Linus Media Group channels, properties. TechLink will do a review. Go watch, the, go watch the tech longer if it's out. It might be out by now. And I guess subscribe to Short Circuit if you really want to. That's the end. <laughs> He's pontificating. The iPad's for the finger. Some people like the finger, some people like the pen.